It is the Flow Friday Night Sports Show, and it's time for us now to talk to the head Kanga and find out how those own United Kangas went last weekend. Caitlin Vine joins me on the line. Sunrise your netball. G'day, Caitlin. How are you? I'm good. Good to be back. Another week's flown by. It has. And uh, you guys uh, were off to Mildura last weekend. How did the trip go? Yeah, another mixed bag of lollies um, last week. We knew it was going to be tough. Uh, a grade down to the 11s, and it certainly was Mordura uh, quite quite the force. Um, had a unfortunate loss in the A grade. We were neck and neck, I think, uh, the first half, definitely, and then just slowly slipped away a couple of goals in the third quarter and then unfortunately went down by eight. Um, it was a very tight game. It was a very physical game. Um, but the A grade shooters for Muldura just do not miss. Right, yeah. Fortunately, um, yeah. made it very difficult for Tashani and Kat to to get any crumbs because they did not miss a goal. So uh, I think that's their major strength for Muldura. Hard to get a rebound if uh, if they're not missing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well... Nothing that could be done there, but, yeah, still a really nice tight game. Yeah, so 44-36, eight goals is nothing. That's, what, four turnovers. One turnover a quarter is what you're dealing with there. So nothing in that whatsoever. Um, uh, some other pretty tight games as well. Got to say the Irimple redcliffs game, only 11 goals in that. Irimple just a touch too good for Redcliffs, but they'd be pretty pleased with where they're going at the moment, Redcliffs. Yeah, 100%. Not a bad loss there, Uh I know that I Rimple were trialling out some new combinations and have bought a few juniors up to have a run through as well. So um, great to see they're having success with those changes. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Redcliffe's just that little bit behind. Yep. Uh, Wentworth, we expected them to uh, give Robin Vale Houston a bit of a touch up. This was top versus bottom. And really, top versus bottom in this comp, there's uh, the 34 goals in it, which is about right. Yeah, yep. Exactly what we expected uh, to happen. But um, I think Robin Vale actually mixed up their team a bit. I think they had a couple of different defenders in, but obviously couldn't quite make the difference there against the almighty Wentworth. Yes, they continue to march on. And uh, the, the last game uh, to talk about, it was uh, South Mildura on their indoor courts against Merbein. And I tell you what, uh, the locals would have been pretty excited with uh, the closing um, uh, couple of minutes of this one. 57 all, they couldn't be split. Absolutely. It would have been very loud in those indoor courts uh, and it would have been very exciting, no doubt. I think South Mildura actually brought in Debbie Toms, uh, their goal, a very tall and agile goal shooter uh, that played back in the 2019 grand final or grand final series. Uh, they had the three Toms girls, but this year they just have Maddie running through the centre, but good to bring Demi back for one week and obviously... It helps them, but, yeah, still got the draw. I think that's a huge score for Merbein. That's probably the biggest goal scored they would have had for quite a while. Yep, yep, I would agree with that. It's only the second time this year they haven't lost, but it's also the second draw of the season. Um, obviously, you guys were involved in one uh, the first one with Irimple, right? Yeah, they're becoming quite common, the old draws. Um, which definitely throws a spanner in the works when it comes to the ladders because you get the two points each. So it just uh, heats things up a little bit more. Yep. Are you a draw girl or are you an extra time girl? No, I'm an extra time girl. Yep. Get a win. Just get a result, right? Absolutely. I'm with you on that one. I don't Dancing with your sister? No, thank you very much. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's move to this round of matches and have a look at who's playing who. So, uh, actually, just before we do that, how did the rest of the club go last week? You mentioned off the top it was a, a bag of mixed lollies a little bit. So, um, uh, the club have any other wins in any other grade? Yeah, well, speaking of draws, the, the B grade had a draw. Uh, it was very hectic in that last quarter. I must have been on another planet because I was not aware it was the last quarter and I couldn't work out why everyone was getting so excited. But uh, it was a really close game and, and the B-graders um, just missed a couple of goals at the end, which, which led to the draw, which was still very exciting for the girls. Um, and that sits them in for fifth position, um, just shy of the top four. But uh, they're still really happy with that. And C-grade had a really tight one and they won by one goal. Wow. Yeah, and I think our 
uh, under 15 twos, which are our little stars. I think they only went down by a few goals as well. So there were some heart stoppers throughout the day. Uh, it definitely kept us on our toes. Fairly evenly matched then yourselves and Mildura by the sounds of that throughout the grades. Absolutely, yeah. They're, mm. they're tough throughout, but it's someone that we want to step up against and try and, and try and get on top of eventually. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, let's have a look now at uh, what's happening this weekend. So some interesting matchups. Uh, we'll go to round 10. Took me a little while to find them, but I've got them there. South Mildura and Irimple. Here's uh, an important game for both teams. Absolutely. Uh, I think Irimple beat South in the first round back at the start of the season. Um, but I think the way South's going at the moment, this could be another draw. I think this will be a really tight game. Excellent. Uh, Robinvale, Euston take on Merbein at the other end of the ladder. Uh, uh, Merbein, bit of form last week, got a draw. But Robinvale, Euston will be uh, licking their lips, thinking this is a game they can win. Yeah, so still halfway through the season with uh, with not too much success for Robinvale. But I think Merbein, the way that they're improving, that they'll come out on top. You're right. Um, we've got uh, uh, Redcliffs uh, taking on Imperials as well. Here's another tight one. Pick a winner of this one at your own peril. Yeah, tough one again. But just seeing Redcliffs sort of just not quite get to that level um, the last couple of games where they possibly could have stepped up and, and been that little bit more competitive. So I'm going to go for Imps on this one. All right. And the match of the round is in Mildura. It's the top of the table clash. Mildura taking on Wentworth, one versus two on the ladder. Mildura have to start favourite. They haven't lost yet, but Mildura, they uh, they they uh, saw off your challenge last week. They're not doing much wrong at the moment. Yeah, this is a really tough one. Obviously, it's been quite a few weeks since we played Wentworth, but, you know, as you can see by their results, they are just so strong. Uh, Mildura were, were tough competitors last week, but... It's going to be, yeah, I'd love to be a fly on the wall. I think a few of our girls might be heading up to, to watch this game because I think it will be an absolute perler. Yep, agreed. And, of course, if your girls are heading up there, that's uh, got to be because Owen United has the bye. That's it. You would think that we'd have a nice rest and take some time away from netball, but I think uh, our curiosity is going to get the better of us <laughs> for a few of us. Oh, I've got no doubt. So uh, the Kangas having a weekend off, but uh, no doubt you'll be taking in some netball. Caitlin, uh, great chatting with you, mate, and enjoy the weekend off. Uh, we'll catch up with you next week to see how it all went. Thanks so much. Good luck, everybody.